Thank you very much. Thank you. Energetic crowd tonight. Listen to that. Loving it. That's right. We're back with Ask the Shock. I'm the Shock. Hope everybody had a great week. And uh, yeah, we're back for episode two. That's a pretty good sign, having us back. I think so. We might have something here. So, uh, I don't know if anybody uh, caught this today. Really sad news coming out of the uh, North Atlantic Tribune. Uh, it seems that Seymour, the sea turtle, has finally passed away. Oh, no, man. Not Seymour. Yeah, sad story, that is. Uh, Seymour, the sea turtle. Oldest sea turtle in the sea, 542 years of age. That's a long time to be in the ocean. You see more than anybody else, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, cause of death they did determine. Uh, autopsy results revealed that he it's had a probably ammonia. <laughs> Digestive obstruction was the cause of death. So uh, yeah, uh, they actually uh, found what it was. It had been there for quite some time, apparently. Uh, they uh, pulled it out. Do we have a picture of that here? <laughs> Now, that's what I call going out in style. So, as we do every single week here at Ask the Shock, we take your questions about aquariums, ATM products, what have you, and we answer them. So, let's do this, people. It's time for the question of the week. This week's question comes from Barbara Kincaid in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Okay, so her question is, I have a saltwater aquarium and I have an issue with algae. It's a pain. I know there's good algae and bad algae. I have angel hair algae. It takes hold, gets out of control. And I was going to see if you had any tips on how to combat the problem, what I could do about it. Thank you very much. Okay, sweetheart. I got some tips for you. Okay, actually, I got a lot of them. We're going to go through them all right now. That's right. It's be a one-stop shop for algae control. Uh, this is gonna kill my puppeteer. Just warning him right now. Okay, so this is algae control in 60 seconds flat. Okay, we ready? Here we go! Good water quality is the key to keeping algae at bay in marine aquariums with the focus on the following factors that contribute to unwanted algae growth. Lighting! An overabundance of lighting can become an issue for any aquarium, so make sure you have the right powered lighting for your aquarium and don't keep them on longer than eight hours, especially if there is a higher than normal level of phosphate. These can be controlled by using a quality phosphate remover such as ATM's Agent Green, a good quality protein skimmer, and high optimum levels of calcium. Keep your calcium above 250 ppm in marine aquariums and above 350 ppm in reefs as preferred for your water. Do regular water, water changes. changes using RO or DI water and a good quality low phosphate sea salt to keep down nitrates and phosphate for your ecosystem. Living things go in aquariums, so put some in there that eat algae, among others, dwarf blue leg hermit crabs, dwarf red tip hermit crabs, electric blue hermit crabs, scarlet reef hermit crabs, lawnmower blennies, cold tanks, phosphate butterflies, don't just do one of these, do them all! Okay, I feel a little better now. Thanks for your question, Barbara. Hope I got everything in there. Uh, there wasn't too fast. If it was, there's a replay button there on the player. Uh, you can uh, watch it again up our YouTube views. We'd appreciate it around here. Uh, Barbara, you're going to get an autographed photo of Wade King and Brett Raymer and the entire ATM crew. We'll send that out to you. If you have a question for Ask the Shock, go to acrylictankmanufacturing.com. You can leave an email. Uh, video or audio question there, or call 855-BLUSHRK, and maybe you will be on Ask the Shark. I'm the Shark, reminding you that your fish aren't starving. It's a trick. Don't buy into it. We'll see you next week. 